So a bit more bamboo. I'm not going to even attempt that one. Much more interesting the fact it's a, have a record of it. It's, it's, it's lovely. So if you really want some really tall screening, sort of maybe above fence level, more than six foot tall, with a big bushy top to it all, quite amazing really. And again, given that these bamboo, or indeed this one here, actually does all of that in one growing season, is quite remarkable. I'm guessing it's sort of finished its, its growth now and that's it for another year. So the clump will just sort of gradually widen. But you can see the sort of difference. Some, some sort of thinner, newer stems that have really put on some growth. And then some of the older ones, kind of more mature from previous years. But, uh, but absolutely gorgeous. And I don't think anything to be, to be shy of, as long as it's treated with a bit of respect. If you don't want to plant the wrong sort of bamboo and it's growing up through next door's garden or something. But these clumping varieties are, are fine, really. So this is Acer palmatum corallinum, which is one of the corallinum group, actually. There's quite a few sort of pinky looking ones. And this is, this is done very well. It is in a nice amount of sun to keep a little bit of color. So in the spring, it's a gorgeous sort of deep pink color. But again, just having the right amount of sun has maintained it. And as you can see, it's doing quite well. It's got the most gorgeous sort of patterned variegated leaves really. So looking really nice. And again, it's, it's a few years old. It doesn't sound the label, but could be, could be quite old. And it's, it's just like a little mound. So for those that think that perhaps aces aren't for them, they, they go too big or whatever. Even in the ground, this is a very, very reasonable size. Quite shrub-like, does spread as wide or wider than it is tall. But for some gardens, that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Then we come to Ukigumo. It's a lovely little tree, this one. It looks a little bit, I don't know, a little bit sad. I'm, I'm glad to see we've got some new growth, actually. Um, I think my Ukigumo at home, if you don't blow me on trumpet, looks, looks a lot better than this. And I think that it probably wasn't the best planting in the world. Dare I criticise people who planted this many, many years ago. Um, again, this is a 96 planting. But it's just a bit exposed and it's... It looks as though it's lived a little bit of a hard life. But you know what? It kind of looks kind of authentic for that, really. Uh, again, you can see lots and lots of little, little bits of growth. So I think the sort of mild, overcast, but quite warm and wet environment we've had recently in the UK has really helped this tree, actually. You know, it's sort of getting singed and burnt, but it's sort of reacted quite well and produced some new growth. Very tall, very upright very interesting, quite cloud-like, which is where the, new, the uh, name comes from. So uh, Ukigumo, if you've got a nice sheltered spot for one of these, um, it, it's definitely worth a look. Just thought, I thought a quick piece of video actually, just, just about this place. I mean, the cities are so crowded and yet there's no one here hardly. And yet it's just lovely. Um, there's a little kid's trail, actually, with hedgehogs and stuff. That's Hoggerbert, apparently. A little bit of fun for the kids. But just an absolutely gorgeous location. It's nice just, you know, looking at the aces, but as a, as a whole, it's an absolutely gorgeous place to be. And here we have a new one to me, Kinran. And what's remarkable about this actually is two things. The just lovely leaves. It's almost like oil spilt on water. Very, very interesting leaf coloration here. So I really like that. Planted in 1985, according to the label, as I read a bit closer. And yet this little fella 
is only this big. So honestly, if I ever found this as a for sale, I'd definitely buy one of these. I think as a, if it's only that big after all this time, then as a container plant or something like that, absolutely fantastic. So sometimes these things, you know, like a previous one, I, I sort of found that I'd already bought one without really realizing it. I think sometimes it's great just to shop around, keep the eyes open. It might take me a year or two to find one. Who knows, maybe I'll never find one. But sometimes if things stick in my, my head and you know you have a think about it, but that's one I'd really look out for. It's sort of fitting any garden or patio really, just looking gorgeous. That's Aesop I made some Kinron. I want to zoom in a little bit on that one. This is an Asia Shura Swanum Microphylum. Oh, did quite well there, I think, with that one. So if we just come back and, and pan out, what we'll see is that the leaf structure of these is definitely a Shura Swanum leaf. So many lobed, very broad, the complete opposite of the linearly lobed ones where they're very, very thin. Um, in this particular cultivar, whichever genetics have come to play, have made it into very broad leaves. There, there are loads of Shuraswanums, they're absolutely lovely. So others include Moonrise, Autumn Moon, Jordan. But this one's lovely. And size-wise, once again, not enormous. I, I think you tend to find this with this, these cultivars. They're not ridiculously big. Lovely to see again the coloration on different sides because if it gets more light on one side than the other that can change things but it, it's all good to change it up really. So yeah, enjoying that. And nice that it's quite open inside to sort of get around and have a look really. So yeah, lovely cultivar. So this one I have shown before, Sherwood Flame. Uh, 1984. I remember 1984 sadly. It was a good year. But this is an interesting tree, the way it's grown, actually. Leaf structure, lovely. Quite serrated again. It's another sort of variant that can happen. The leaves get quite serrated, really. But what's lovely is that here we've got this huge canopy behind it. And it appears to have sort of grown towards the light, I suppose. So if I move back a little bit... It's kind of like one-sided, but it's nice in a way. It's not particularly sunny day today, but that's okay for the photography. It makes it a bit easier, I suppose. But I think you can sort of get the idea that the light shining through the canopy looks very interesting and, and just lovely, really. So Sherwood's flame, is it to do with Sherwood Forest? I don't know. I really should do some research and find out. So they've also got some sort of much smaller, newer plantings. So this is Katsura. And it must be fairly new because even mine's bigger than this one. Sad to see in a way it's sort of enclosed like this, but it does give them that protection from sort of grazing animals and such like that. And it's just interesting again, they've put it in sort of a fairly shady kind of place, I suppose, really, but we have got some leaf burn on top. That happens to mine, it happens to yours, no doubt, and everyone else's, really. But this machine's mature, this tree's mature enough now to, to do quite well, despite that, so that's absolutely fine. And an Shadara. Planted sort of very low to the ground. It's a sort of low graft here. And as you can see, it's kind of spreading outwards more than it is upwards, really. But again, this must be a fairly new planting. I think this sits in a little sort of group, I suppose. If I just go to the top, you can see better, I think. So we've got things like Crimson Queen, Tamuki Armour, Garnet. They're all these little lovely little red leaves. Lovely to see some pink growth. That's great, that's how it's doing well. And as I think I've said, this rain and sort of semi-shade is doing the, the trees a heap of good, actually. So definitely a good one to keep an eye out for in Abishadara. A Cizuru. I think that's about right. A Cizuru. And this one is quite lovely, actually. Again, it must be a fairly new planting, but it's doing really well. 
I think planting it in the shade of other trees has served us particularly well here. So here we have some nice variegated leaves, red stems on the new growth, which is lovely. And it's not uncommon for these type of trees to, where the new growth is a different color to the older growth and it somehow magically sort of changes over time. So some people think, well, it's regression, I need to cut that off or something like that. It's not, it's just the, the new growth being apparent. But yeah, I really like this one actually. I'm not so familiar with it, but beautiful red on the tips of the branches there and growing extremely well. I mean, I should imagine that the, the last few I showed you were all planted at roughly the same time, but quite vigorous grower here. Bit of die back there. Of course, you know, we'll probably trim our trees and look after them and do a bit more TLC, but it hasn't suffered for it. And I think it's interesting as well, if you look at the die back, it's sort of promoted new growth because where it's died off, a new um, bit of growth has appeared to the side same in there really so I think that's why they almost sometimes diversify so just in there the middle ones die back but it's made it sort of spread in different directions which has kind of made it more bushy and, and better really for it so again sometimes makes it knows best in a way and just leaving it to do its run its course can work really well so nice plant so here we have Acer Nicolasoni 1984 planting as are quite a few so it's interesting actually you can see from the, the labels that the plantings occurred in different stages but uh, I don't even hear in the video perhaps not but uh, the little, little little bit of rain so what a what a better place to be than inside an acer in that sense so this one's got a lovely open center to it and over the years it's grown in a sort of beautifully contorted way it's quite interesting because when they're very little some people might say well that's no good you need to you know trim one of those branches it's growing against the other one or it's causing a problem but I don't think so I mean, I think these these trees look more natural the more you leave them alone almost really and the sort of shape and the form of them just looks lovely again real canopy on this one there's a light place through it so that's lovely just shows as well if you, you know, changing colour, it's natural paper in behind it. And they do complement each other really well. So, another lovely example. Yes, there are quite a few sort of similar-ish trees of this nature, but if you look at the leaves on this, it's, uh, they're quite nice actually. Again, a little bit of variegation through, through the leaves themselves. So, yeah, like that one. So this fellow is quite common and with good reason. Um, the blood good is sold all over the world. It essentially is a bit like an atropoporium. It grows more vigorously than that. It's more heat tolerant than that and retains its red color rather better into the summer. But of course, because these leaves are in huge amounts of shade, either from other trees or from the rest of the tree and that's not going to be the case but I think it's quite lovely and it just adds interest and for anyone starting out and wondering about what their first tree should be I think Budwood would be an excellent candidate it's a sort of classic Japanese red maple really nice habit grows fairly upright in tree light but with some branches at the bottom too um, but just a gorgeous looking plant and again absolutely dripping full of seedlings seeds should i say or samaras is the correct name for them so i really hope you're enjoying the content of these videos if you are if you could like and subscribe to the channel that'd be fantastic and please hit the notification bell as well because that way you'll know when i upload more i'm really really pleased with how things have progressed and this little channel sort of growing quite nicely really. So thanks to all those that subscribed already and a special thanks to all those that ask questions or you know have ideas and 
please let me know if you want any more different content because we can do that and i hope to see you soon in another video cheers